Where, where is Carmen San Diego? Where is she? Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Carmen San Diego season three. So we're in our Halloween um, uh, set, as you can see. And the reason why I'm doing the review here on this Halloween set is because it is October, but also because this all the episodes are to do with Halloween. And that's what I really liked about this series. Well, what I didn't like is the fact that it's so short. There's only five episodes to this season. It feels like it's almost just for the Halloween season. It's not really a full season, but don't worry. The way they left it at the end of episode five, we're definitely getting a new series. A new season? Yes. It's our jam. So there's a lot of things going on and a lot of things happening uh, within season, especially the fact that we've only got five episodes. They do cover a lot of grounds. Once again, Vile are up to their dastardly deeds. They have a new um, base, which is pretty cool. It's a very Scottish base, and they're still trying to catch Carmen and her team, and they are always foiled. That's kind of the the, the, the role of Carmen San Diego to foil the bad guys uh, and the good guys plans to try and catch her. Still, everybody thinks she's the bad guy. Still, we learn um, stuff about geography and the various places that she jet sets across the world. She's still trying to foil Vile's plans, but at the heart of it, she's trying to learn more about her family, as we learned a little bit about her father being in Vile. Now she's trying to track down her mother, and so there's a couple of the episodes where she's, you know, if she finds out a little bit more, and she was, she, they, they, they're basically kind of teetering us. They're giving us little tidbits of a story. Obviously, they're going to keep dragging that out. And eventually, I presume, we'll find that she is alive. And, you know, her mother is some amazing super spy or the actual the leader of Vile or something like that. That's how it will probably go. But for these five episodes, they have a lot of fun with the Halloween premise. Even the Vile guys, I really loved what the, the leaders of Vile this time around, they're wearing masks. They're getting into the spirit of Halloween. It seems like they definitely uh, celebrated the the episodes we have are all very uh, themed. So we have Haunted House, we have uh, Cinco de Mayo or um, Day, uh, Day of the Dead. I think, you know, the various different Halloween places, you know, celebrated around the world. And all of that makes for a very mask centric series this time around, which is a lot of fun and makes sense with Carmen San Diego. You know, she's always hiding behind something or being stealthy and seeing the various masks, especially in, um, I think it was Mexico, where they're, they're having really vibrant uh, costumes and um, masks. That was a lot of fun, seeing what Vile do. You'll also see a few new characters with <laughs> weird um, character names. Spin Kick and Fly Trap. Spin Kick. Fly Trap. <laughs> and a few of the voices you will recognize as well. Definitely famous uh, voice acting artists. Uh, you can go and check them out on IMDb. I think uh, they do their job. All, uh, it's a lot of fun here. There isn't too much development in Carmen's personal story. And we don't get to hear much more about her um, sidekick stories either. It definitely concentrates on Vile's new headquarters. Them trying to catch her once again. Carmen trying to find um, anything to do with her mother and the people she tries to help along the way. There is one moment where someone is trying to be brought into Vile, similar to Carmen with her skills, and I really like that kind of dynamic. We do get to see some familiar faces that we really enjoy. For the most part, you're going to enjoy this. I think it's definitely a Halloween series, you know, for October, Carmen San Diego season three, it's that. But it's also really short, so you'll watch through it and you'll be like, wait, where's the rest? So I would give this a B plus. I probably would have given an A, but I do feel like it's too short. We needed more. We've been waiting a while for this. So hopefully we, it won't take too long to get a proper season four with more episodes. Thanks so much for watching this review. Do chat to me in the comments below. What did you think about this series? Are you excited to see it? Which is your favorite character other than Carmen? Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.